Cycling is growing in popularity across the UK and ever more so than here in London where there are over 600,000 cycle journeys made on a daily basis. So where better then to launch National Road Safety Week than an Exchanging Places event here on Horse Guards Parade. Gary Ray is from Brake, the charity behind Road Safety Week. It's all about education. To some extent it's about enforcement as well, let's not forget the road safety message. And it's also about engineering, how do we design our roads? How do we design these new vehicles that make it safer for cyclists as well as drivers? So there's lots of messages, messages in there, education, enforcement, engineering, all part of that package which makes our roads safer. Coordinated by the Met Police, Exchanging Places offers cyclists and drivers the opportunity to experience each other's point of view. Taking a look for herself was MP Ruth Cadbury, co-chair of the All-Party Cycling Group. When I sat up in that lorry, it really made me realise how little lorry drivers can see of cyclists beside them and in front of them. Uh, so it's changed my cycling behaviour and... Uh, I mean, I think that lorry is very good, it's got very good mirrors, but it's expecting a lot of the driver. Um, and that's why I think we need to look at a new generation of lorries uh, with much more visibility all around, because more and more people are cycling. There's, there's these schemes in London which bring cyclists and lorry drivers together and they swap roles, and that's, that's excellent. Safety is crucial for all vulnerable road users, and events like Road Safety Week help outline the difficulties and dangers that people face. Christopher Snelling from the FTA explains. For FTA, this is a really important week. It's a great opportunity to help people understand more about how lorries operate, but also it's a, an opportunity for us to highlight to operators the many things they can be doing to help improve safety on the roads. These exchanging places are very important events and our members are very pleased to support them as often as they can, providing the trucks for them. It gives cyclists a very good view of exactly what they can and cannot see from the front of a cab so they know what a lorry driver is working with. You're just so high up, you know, in terms of when you're, when you're going around the roads and there's, you know, a 1.2 metre blind spot that perhaps cyclists and pedestrians aren't aware of around the vehicle. Um, and, and of course, why would they be? You know, they're, they're not a professional driver. Um, so of course, you're heavily reliant on mirrors and mirror checking and constantly rechecking as you're pulling away and manoeuvring around the streets of London. I've never expected this really huge blind spots especially in front of a lorry and even um, close to the side especially when you are not visible like I am today black black so the driver can't see anything so it's really um, really surprising or shocking. Clearly a lot of effort is being made by a lot of people to improve road safety for all road users. Find out more at roadsafetyweek.org.uk